All right, it's our favorite time of the morning. We're back now with our Christmas cookie countdown in day nine of our 12 days of Christmas cookies. So here we go, TJ, do the honors. Let's All open right. our advent calendar to see what kind of cookies we are nine. baking up this morning well, behind wait. door number nine. Mm -hmm. I got, mm -hmm. I got birds. Uh, <laughs> we have birds. Birds the word. Uh, Amaretto bird cookies with orange glaze. Perfect for this morning. Four birds, a calling theme. Let's bring in celebrity chef Ryan Scott joining us with the recipe for these. Come on, Ryan. A sugar cookie is a sugar cookie. I mean, how much more complicated can it get, right? <laughs> TJ, can you get a little bit more excited about my cookies? <laughs> I even saw, you know, Wit, Wit, Wit's uh, baby Yoda hat, so I dressed up. I got my Ron Marciano beard going on. I dressed up for you guys, you know? So tell me, you what know, makes this right. sugar, sugar cookie, cookie it's more special than any other sugar cookie? Well, it's got a little almond liqueur in there and a little orange glaze on top. Plus, you guys, it's all in one cookie. So if anybody's worried about steps, you don't have to worry about this. Everything goes inside. So can I show you guys here? In the mixer, I have butter and I have two different sugars. I have baking powder and regular sh sugar, excuse me, uh, powdered sugar. I've got regular flour, which you can use any kind of flour you want. If you guys even wanna make this gluten-free, you totally can. And here is a little almond liqueur. Okay, that's where it takes it and mm. amps it up. There we go. A little almond extract. I use cream of tartar, salt, and a little bit of baking soda. This all goes inside, guys, and check this out. Just one little turn. And you let this go until it forms a whole mix, just like that, and gets all over your counter at 5:30 in the morning. Too many cups of coffee, huh, guys? Yeah, you, you made and it look then, easy. What? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> and then what you guys do is you take this mass, this dough mass that we have, we break it into two balls here, and then I put it in between wax paper. And then what you do is you want to refrigerate this, guys, but you roll it out. And by the way, if you had the most largest dowel in the world, this is the only opportunity to ever use this is when you're on national television. I don't know where I got this, but I'm using it this morning, all right? So you roll this out, and you have to make sure, you guys, that it's refrigerated because what you're going to do. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to forgive TJ me. I wanted to ask my... you about that because it's easy to make a mistake when you chill the dough. What, what's the step to make sure you do it right? Well, you want to make sure that the dough is chilled because otherwise, if it's hot, the friction from this mixer here, you're going to be unable to actually punch them out and the dough will actually stick to the board itself. So if you put it on the wax paper and then you take TJ's favorite little shapes in the whole world, his, his, his bird shapes, if you guys punch these out, they go like so and then they hold together and bake a lot easier. So refrigerate the dough at least for a half an hour. That way you guys can make a perfect perfect cookie. Well, so I don't want to reveal my uh, my bias here, but I will say this might be my favorite cookie that we've had so far this year. And as you can tell, it's already almost gone. Um, so you say that you can kind of tweak the dough flavor if, if you didn't want to do almond or something like that. You could make it your own. Cecilia, I'm now officially your biggest fan on your fan page. Now. I just like it for you saying that. The Ryan Scott Cecilia fan base, I love it. I'm all the way. Yes, you can tweak the flavor profile. So if you don't want to add almond liqueur, you can make it just extra orange or extra lemon or extra vanilla. So you guys can make it any way you want. But the best part about it is if you guys take them out of the oven like I have here, check this out. Let me take it close to my cam. Once you've made all the flavor profiles, they set up for just a second. Look at those. You have all those amazing shapes. And well, there's nothing like having a Dolly Parton little oven mitt at the same time, guys. Oh, okay, I got to make sure I got to represent my girl here. All right. All right. So here's what you do. And you were talking, Cecilia, about flavor profiles. You can mix it up. I took a little bit of powdered sugar, a little bit of orange zest, a little bit of salt and milk. And this is our frosting. And I'm going to take this little fork and knife that you have here and check this, guys and you just put this little smear right on top. And what's kind of cool about this, I have a little three-year-old daughter, so she can come in the kitchen and help us out. And then what you do is you take this here and you take little almond slices and you start taking the little wings that you make little four birds of calling. And then you get this little baby voice that I'm doing right now when I'm making this too. And you take, you take any kind of chocolate that you guys have here and you just kind of have fun. At the end of the day, this is the holidays. At the end of the day, a lot of us have been in the in the kitchen a lot and cooking a lot, but just make this fun. Yeah. You have a one mix cookie mix. You don't have to worry about it. And then they're all done. And you guys take this here and you have enough to feed the whole neighborhood if you want. Or just but, yourself uh, if you're it, me. Guys, yeah. Just... yeah, I'll just mow through that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> myself.
Ryan, these really are delicious. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you and everybody. You can get this amazing cookie recipe on our website, goodmorningamerica.com. And you can pre-order Ryan's upcoming book, The No Fuss Family Cookbook, which is out next year. Tomorrow, cookie number eight, because we're not done yet. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.